Arceus. Let's play this guy. This is plus two at least, so let's see. Well, I want to see how good this guy is. His rating is pretty good, 29, 30. You know, one thing I would say about farming, by the way, um, is that I will say that in my experience, having played a lot online, I've never found a 3,000 player that I can just like crush. Uh, there's some 2,900-ish players that I can crush, but 3,000, I've never found a 3,000 that I can crush. Um, so that is one thing that, that I will say is like 2,900s, I feel like there are some that I can eke, but, but 3,000s, I can't eke. I, I've never found a 3,000 where it's like, I just like blow them away every game. Okay, this guy seems a... I don't want to say he's weak, but his opening choice seems a little bit dubious with the two pawn pushes. So, let's see. How can they be over 2,500 ELO and not GM because these are online ratings, which are plus minus, give or take 400 points. Sometimes 500 as well. Now, I think I'm going to... I mean, I can play Bishop C3, E5. So I'm going to go for this one, E5. I could have taken and played 97, maybe. It's interesting. Go here. Uh, it's gonna go g4 and try to clog the toilet i guess okay, i'll play a5 lock the queen side here probably knight f6 next move i think also i should have played knight f6 first to hit the pawn but okay whatever who cares uh black friday deals i don't know uh does this hang a pawn wait is there some this feels very icky taking on e4, but it might be okay. I'm gonna go for it. I don't see the win for white right off. I don't see the win. Am I blind? I mean, it feels very shaky. Like I could just lose on the spot here, but if I don't see it right off, um i think i can play and he's using too much time so i'm up like 40 seconds uh did i buy something for friday no i didn't every t every time i leave the stream day prior to 280 next time i join 50 points out yeah because i start off the stream with three losses i lost three out of four games to start the stream so yeah i lost i lost three out of four games to start the stream and that's all my elo points yeah like i mean that's the thing like again in a, in a, in a funny way math never lies um and as soon as i started playing the good players what happens like because i've been playing all these guys that i can sort of just beat i would say like with my, I, I mean saying with my eyes closed is kind of rude but i think you guys get what i'm saying but um but yeah when i start okay now i'm just gonna win the game okay this guy played c4 which is a horrible move so i think that i can crush this guy i think this guy is a weak player in my range i think he's in my range this, do i play le bon cloud le bon cloud maybe i go king f8 uh, um this guy's in the range where i think i can beat him actually he feels weak to me um so if i go here i think i just play le bon cloud le bon cloud for the win oh no but it doesn't does he have knight h6 or some nonsense no he doesn't it's a little bit messy oh i could have taken t wait why didn't i just wait a second okay slow down and think fg4 takes so let's just take i mean i don't know if this is right but this looks fine it's a little bit murky oh, wait is there actually maybe i'm wrong no i think i'm just wrong what am i doing i've messed this up i guess i go here trying to force an end game I spoke too soon this guy actually has some decent tactical vision I spoke way too soon this guy has some tactical vision let's go here yeah this guy's got some vision so no there's there's no guarantees oh great and he found c5 okay I guess I go okay I gotta pick up the speed he's low on time the, the way that I win this game is I I speed him I speed him out of the game I start pressing him on the clock yeah, this this I spoke too soon. This guy is actually dangerous. His tackle vision is not the worst. Not the worst by any stretch. Let's go here, let's trade some bishops. But he's low on time. Yeah, this guy, I think I can beat him, but he he does there are some characteristics just from this game that I can tell he's a dangerous player to play. Yeah, he this guy is dangerous. I'm gonna beat him because he's too low on time, but he's he's a dangerous player. Yeah, 
Yeah, this guy is dangerous. Yeah, he finds Rook B7, which is a very good move, too. Yeah, very dangerous. Yeah, now I just win. I go here in E3. He seems too weak to me. He's not weak. He's just slow. But he's a good... This guy's a good player. This guy is a good player. One down, 45 to go. Yeah. No, he's a good player. Go B3, Bishop B2. Imagine a weak 2900. There are some that are weaker, but this guy this guy is not a bad player. He's better than Levy, absolutely. Chat calling him weak, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll go C5 and B4 place like a... Um, I'm kind of like... Um, what's it called? Not Chagorin. The um, My brain's not working this morning. Ragozin. Everyone's weak if you're overperforming right. Yeah. Go here in 92. Remember, some 2900s aren't real. They're dubious. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean, I think at the end of the day, as I said, like, I'll wait for people to filter in on a little bit. Well, we're going to do... I think I'll do an arena next. I, I didn't think he could play this, actually. I thought I had... I assumed I was fine here, but maybe not. I mean, hmm. I thought it was just better, but I guess I can't grab the pawn, so why did I do this? Close castle. I still should be better here, but let's go rook d1, knight g3, rook e1, e4, play in the center. I'm gonna go e4 pretty soon. I think right here I'll do it, actually. I think I maybe played the wrong, I think maybe here. I should have played e4. Uh, I think I should have played e4 right away, maybe, but whatever. Okay, he takes. Now, that is not something I expected. I have bishop a6. I have bishop c... Bishop f6, cd3, I guess, is fine for him. So, I can't do that. I actually did not expect this, so I'm a little bit confused. I go bishop c4, queen e7. I'm thinking too long. Go bishop... I think I'm going to go here. I'm going to play something different. I don't know if this is actually good. I'm going to go rook d6 and really try to put a lot of pressure here in the center of the board. Like rook e1. Pressure in the center. I mean, I don't know if this is actually great or not, but it makes makes some sense. Yeah, taking e4 is probably fine, but it, it, I want something more sharp, I guess. Like, it, I feel like there's, there's more play here in the center of the board. What Master Chef episode? I think season 5, episode 4, episode 5. If Ali Reza and Anish claim the last remaining spots, who among the candidates do you think has the best chance to beat Ding? Um, that's not a comment that I'm going to talk about because I don't think it's really right to talk about other players and the candidates at the moment. Good thing about my opponent is he's, he's a good player, but he's a little bit slow. He's definitely on the slow side. Did I buy my shirt from a garage sale? No, I did not. Um, but thank you. Go here. I did not. Oh, maybe I had queen, maybe queen c3. No, h4, knight h5. So no, it didn't, it didn't work. H. Oh, but I had rook g6, maybe. Ah, maybe I could have. Wait, can I still go queen c3? No, but now he has rook d8. Or do, no, but I, wait. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Whatever, I'm going to go for it. Because now h4, I just take the bishop. Okay, let's see. I'm definitely sacking the rook for the two two pieces here. And he doesn't have a square for the horse on h5, which is the most important thing. There's been no decisive results in Sinkfield Cup yet. All draws, yeah. It goes there. So, knight e, 94 bishop c4. Knight f6, bishop f6, and I have nothing. Rook e7, bishop c3, that's just a draw. So I'll take and go here, maybe. I mean, I should be better just because black has these two weak pawns in the center of the board. But it doesn't mean it's like easy to win. But that being said, guy is too slow. This guy's a good player, but he is way too slow. Um here and take, I guess. I, I mean, I don't have to play it like this, but I assume that I should be much better. G3, of course, stop all the threats. So uh rookie two, queen h1 could be a problem. Eh. Not a problem. Let's go king g2. Could be fine. There's no 93 either. Very important. So, if I play rookie six. I can also just go h4. Am I missing rookies? 
Knight e3, rook e3. Knight f4. I don't see it. I don't see. Here I take. Here I take. Okay, now. Okay, now it's a matter of mopping up a board. I think I'll just start with h4. I just don't want to let this slip. I, I, I am winning here, but I, I need to be precise. So check. Go here. Triple stack on, on the e file. Go here. Just trade. Yeah, now the rest is very basic. Takes. Rook h8, mate. There we go. Next game. Will I wear 1,000 shirts? Someone gives it to you? Maybe. I want to go for an adoption. Get get back like at least 20 of my points that I just lost, if possible. Do I have a $1,000 shirt like Gucci Reza? Uh, no, I do not have a $1,000 shirt. I saw your wholesome photo playing Cranicle over Bottle Gin. How crazy times have changed. Like I said, I mean, I think at this point, it's very little to do with the actual topic and more it's become personal to him for some reason. I mean... Like I said, I'll cover it a little bit later. I don't want to get into it right now, but I'll, I'll give some final comments on it because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna entertain or deal with it. I mean, he's making false accusations, and I just don't have to deal with it because obviously I know how I haven't cheated, and maybe he'll try to come up with some fancy schmancy uh, statistics to try and say something. But the fact is, I haven't cheated. I know the 100% certainty that I haven't cheated, and um, well, good luck. That's all that I have to say. Play B6. But I'll cover it one final time. Let's go bishop b7. I can play e6, c5. Maybe just here in rook d8. I really want to go c5, but as long as there's d5 in the air, there's nothing I can really do about it. Am I sponsoring Hugo Boss? Um, no, I'm not sponsored by Hugo Boss. Go queen c8 here. I probably want to go e6, but I can't. Okay, he takes, which I'm very... I thought I was very happy to see that, but actually now I'm not sure which way I capture. I guess I'll capture with the bishop just to pressure. Because now if I get e6, c5, both the b's come alive. Um, he goes there. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to play e6. I don't really want to trade the bishops. I guess I'll go here. I think now I'm going to take with the pawn. Uh, but then d5. Then I never c5. Hmm. I still think I have to take with the knight. Uh, I shouldn't have gone rook e8 then. Because now I give him knight e5 and queen f4. Yeah, but the queen f4 is wrong, so I have queen b8, I think. I don't have e5. Uh, I think I'll just go here. Yeah, let's play, like... I mean, h5, I don't really want to play. I need to get c5 in at some point. The thing is, how do I do it? I don't see it, so I'm going to play queen d6 here. It's a little bit dangerous the way I've played this game. Um, I might have to just take the double pawns on f6 sooner or later. I might also just have to go c5 too, but we'll see. It's not a position that I'm in love with. Um, he goes b3, or I thought it was b3. He goes a3. Um, and I can go... I don't want to play knight f8. I really don't want to take, but I will. I'm going to go knight f8 to hold the pawn. Actually, knight f... Why did I go knight f... Knight f6 was just better, actually, I think. Why did I put the knight on f8? I guess d4 actually is hanging, though, to be fair. Yeah, d4 is actually just hanging, so... Okay, but now I think I'm in time with c5. And yeah, now I go c5, d5, e6, and I'm in time. I'm in time with e6. Next move to open up the whole board. So now I should be fine. It, it all came down to this bishop. Now that I've opened the scope, it doesn't mean like I'm better or anything, but I I, I mean, I'm not worse. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's take... Let's go here. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not better here, but... Let's go here, hit the queen... We just like rook c8, knight c5, queen c5 also. Queen c5, hit the pawns. I need to get him to use his time because my general read of this guy is pretty simple. Like he's a pretty good player, but he's too he's always low on time. So even though he's doing fine on the board uh, in both these games so far against me, he's he's way down on the clock. And if he's way down on the clock, he's gonna collapse eventually. So that's my general read of how he plays chess. Is that he's a pretty good player, but if I, if I'm up on time, he's gonna lose all the games. Like, the first two games, I was not winning on the board, actually. Um, yeah, see, like, he finds his queen e8 move, which is a very sneaky and tricky move to face. Because now he's got, like, 95 tricks if I take the pawn. Let's go here. Not a good move. But, uh, oh, he plays d7. He doesn't go... I thought he was going to go rook d5 and then rook d7. Um, I can play king f6. Do I have any other obvious moves? Queen f5. I think I'm going to try to get a little bit sneaky here with queen f5. I'm going to try to get a little bit sneaky here. 
a little bit tricky try to go for something a little bit imbalanced because now he's gonna have to burn his clock and as i said if he gets low on time i think i'm gonna win the game he finds queens oh great i've got no way to win oh great i'm at, am i just losing here shoot great great i blundered excellent oh i can't go queen see that hangs material oh no what am i doing how do i do this check work f1 maybe not good yeah a little bit off this morning oh wait no but he just blunders the game wait what's yeah i just win okay <laughs> as soon as i say i'm a little bit off he immediately blunders um yeah as soon no the streak's not on i got smoked by a couple of good players to start the day yeah as soon as i say like it's not my day immediately we got a quick blunder this guy though is not a good pairing i can say that like with certainty this is not a good pairing i mean if i play well i might be able to adopt him but i'm gonna have to be sharp i can't just like be chilling bopping all over the place and uh just like not paying attention that much is clear like i, I can tell already this is a good player um castle i think i go e4 or did i just Oh, I can't play e4 he's got it or wait f5 I can play de5 95 trade everything down but that's too simplified I don't want that um I'll just take and go here <sighs> and I'm, I'm already bungling my one big advantage that I have against this guy which is time like I'm down on clock already okay I'm gonna I think I can win that end game probably not no I've whatever just play chess Yeah, I've got to move quicker because I've already spotted him like 25 seconds and the position is very flat. A good night at five. I've got like B4 here, maybe. Knight B7 as well. It was rook d5 so of course I played b4 okay I think he missed something here I think he was actually much better but he missed something um I'll go here to trade some rooks I think he had some bishop h3 queen g5 with a pawn on b3 it felt a little bit shaky-ish but I think now I should be okay I actually have a little bit of pull now because this knight actually is targeting both these pawns so I have some slight pull in this position again or did I just miss should have taken with the bishop why did I do this knight d8 maybe how do I do this also I don't know why I did this either yeah I don't know what I'm doing no I'm just actually just like playing I'm playing bad chess today there's no other way of putting it I'm just gonna go here and knight a5 yeah I'm, I'm playing very bad chess I, and also I'm playing players who are stronger which doesn't help yeah, I don't even know what queen one does. Just there. Let's go here. So I'll go like here, maybe. Yeah, this is. It goes knight d5, which I'll go here to hit the knight. I mean, he has queen c3. I mean, I can get my king to the center. I have chance to win this game. <sighs> but he is playing well. Probably going to be a draw. Unless I can come with some knight d... There might be some knight c6 tricks in here. I'm trying to think on his time. Because if I can think on his time, I might be able to press him on the clock again. Knight b4 do. An interesting move. Uh, I'm thinking too long. I gotta move. Oh, here, maybe knight d4. Well, 
Wow, he goes F4, which I thought was a very bad move, by the way. Because now I've got a connected chain in the center. I mean, he's got the outside pawn, but I've got E5. I mean, this looks dangerous. This, this might still be okay for black, but this looks very dangerous to play. I wish I had more. I wish I had more of a time advantage. Um, okay, I have e5 here. 598, king b5, nice takes knight e6. Or, or do I just go here? I think I just go here. Yeah, actually, he's blundered. No, he's blundered in a very serious way. No, I, th I think I'm winning here, actually. I think I'm winning. And it's using way too much time. Okay, now do I go knight c4? h4 is not a good move. I think knight c4. No, I think I'm winning because I dominate the horse. I dominate his horse. I think I'm winning. He's misplayed this. I should be winning here. Oh no, I blend I played the wrong order. Oh my god. Oh my god, I blunder. This is oh my god. I should have traded the pawns. Why didn't I trade a set of pawns? Oh my god. <sighs> if I trade a set of pawns, it would have been a it, it would have been winning. Frustrating. And I ruined I ruined all the points. Okay, let's let's win one game and then I'll probably just like stop. Because one draw already ruined the streak. Yeah. Play E5. Interesting means cheating. No, that's a that's a bit of a meme right now. That's a Kramnik meme. Um so whatever. No, that's so disappointing because I'd outplayed him in the end game and then I blundered that. I'm gonna go 95. It happens, yeah, it happens, yeah. Yeah. A tilting hardly, but I'm not tilting, but I'm not particularly happy with my play either. Yeah, I mean I have Bishop E6 here, which seems fine. I don't know if it's a good move, but it's what I'm gonna play. Or like rook c8, I guess I just take. I can always go b5 if I want. I mean, like queen c7. I don't love my position here, but I think it's reasonable enough. Um, okay, so he's trying to stack. I mean, I can go b5. I have to come up with a concept here is the problem. Um, I don't like these positions where concepts are generally required. Um, I guess I'll go queen a5. Maybe I go rook e8 and rook e6. I can also take the bishop, I suppose. Where is the Black Friday car merch deals? Uh, we don't have merch yet. I think I'm going to do some merch pretty soon, but we don't have any right now. Yeah. Take. Okay, but now I go knight d7. Oh, did I blunder knight d5? Oh, I've got... No, I'm... I should move my queen back first, but luckily knight d5 doesn't do anything. I can just trade the queens, luckily. Whew. Um, I guess I take with a rook. I, I'm assuming that my knights um, are better than his bishop pair, actually, is what I'm assuming. I'll take with a king. I'm just going to go like king e8. Is there a knight b5? No, I can just take and go here, here. Again, really careless and sloppy for me. Okay, I'm, I'm done with trying to like give him some kind of tactics. I should be better here, though, in the long run. But like I said, as you guys know from the start, what I said was right. Like, this guy is dangerous. Like, I can sense very quickly whether these players are going to be a, be a tough matchup or whether they're going to be an easy matchup. Very quickly, I can I can sense it. So he plays h4, which I don't like. I'll go h5. Because uh, now, bishop h6. Wow, that also does not feel like the right move to me. Um, I'm just going to go here to hit the pawn. 
It goes G3. Okay, now I have check and I can take a pawn. Takes, but should be seven queen G8, knight F8, should be fine. Queen C3, queen E6. I also have king D8, yeah. Wait, think, don't, don't, don't rush it. Cause I'm up, I'm up 40 seconds. So there's no need to rush here. So if I take queen D6, queen C3, queen E6, king D8, C7, I should be fine. But then again, if you're sure it's working, just play it. Why, why not? Um, oh wait, queen B4, no, there's no knight D5. Cause I take with check. And I still have knight F7 to hit the bishop too. Yeah, I should win now because queens have to come off the board. Yeah, this is good. Pretty good stuff here. Drama, drama, drama. No, there's no real drama, of course. Um, not really. I'll cover it one final time, and that's that's gonna be it. I just take with check. He's probably gonna resign pretty soon, I assume. Yeah, he resigns. Let's go for one more. Five doesn't seem like the right number. I, I, I kind of want to get to six. At least 30, 32, 43, close enough. NVIDIA is 1 trillion. I haven't looked at the market this morning. NVIDIA. NVIDIA is 482. What do you mean it's 1 trillion? Wait, the market cap of 480 is 1 trillion? Woof. Like I said, I think NVIDIA fair value is around 400. I think it's overvalued even here. Even even after the, uh, after it's down, what, 20 bucks on earnings, I guess? Still overvalued, in my opinion. Go, um... The rookie one, why not? Um, someone says like three years looked really Hikaru like three years looked really cool. Further beard, longer hair, black clothes, closer camera. I'd say look looked cool since I don't know what hot is. Um, yeah, I've got the shorter hair because like I, I don't want to go get um go get a haircut every two months. That's the first thing. Um, I mean I'm wearing lighter shirts these days uh, because why not? And camera is still the same. The angle might be slightly different, and of course I've got the shelf behind me which I didn't have before, but overall pretty much the same. Are you thinking a long time? Is there some tactic that I'm missing? Like E5. Knight H5 looks strange. Very, very strange. There's Bishop G5 also. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. There's also H3, and I just take the two Bs. But I don't I don't want that kind of a game. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna go here. I don't know if this is actually a good move, but I'm trying to confuse the situation a little bit. Yeah. 8 a.m. in California. IA. Yeah, markets are open, right? They are, yeah. Amazon down, Nvidia down, Baidu way up for some reason. Uh, Microsoft down small. Yeah, it looks like a little pretty flat. Pretty, it's gonna be a pretty flat day. I mean, no, nobody wants to trade today. Uh, let's go knight f one ninety three, I guess. Yeah, no, nobody's gonna want to trade today. Why would you want to trade? Goes to Asians. Now I could go H four. I think I'm just gonna go to D two though. And I'm going to D two because I want to reroute the knight, but I also want to bring the rook in. Like if I go to C one, then how do I bring the rook in? So when I go to D two, I want to bring the knight in, but also I want to bring the rook in as well. I'll play H three. Hit the bishop. Black Friday me makes it sound like even more of a bad day. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I could play G4. I don't really like it. I kind of want to reroute my knight. I think I'm, I'm going to go here. Ah, I'm going to go here and try to get the knight to E5 or F3, E5. I'm way up on, not way up, but I'm up on time. Okay, I'll go here, play knight E3, knight E5, and rook D1. Let's go here. Goes A5. I can play A4. I actually think that I'm happy if he starts attacking on the queen side with B5. I could be wrong on that, but I think I'm happy. Let's go here in 95, of course. That's my, that was my plan for five moves ago. It's B4 looks terrible. There's 95 here. I mean, Bishop F4 and just Bishop C2 looks good. Bishop B5 looks good. Kramnik has this childish mentality. No, that's not, that's not what it's about. It's not about a childish mentality. It's that he thought he came with some great statistics and that they were really, really bad. He made, he made a false accusation that he should not have made. And, um, and now it's like, he can't accept that his math was wrong. He can't accept that. And, um, and yeah, he's, he's now making, making more of a mockery of the whole thing. So it's, it's, it's sad to see. It's very sad to see, but I'll cover that a little bit later on. Like his stats are wrong. Actual statisticians, actual people who've spent their lives studying this, uh, commented on his post, which speaks volumes about how, um, how incredibly, uh, popular chess truly is. Cause like, I mean, when you have like, like, like I said, there's someone from like the, the University of Chicago uh, Blue School of Business who even wrote to me, like when you have people like coming from like these major universities, um, writing things, writing things and, and explaining the stats and kind of like, no, you're just wrong. Like, it's just very, very weird to see. Very, very weird to see. Yeah. 
Uh, isn't this just a blunder? Don't I just take and win the game? Me, you know what? I wonder now if I play more because it feels like this guy's. He started off strong and now the quality is dipping. So do I try to punish him? Do I think that he's like, he's not playing his best chess and I try to spank him a few more or not? It's a big question, actually. I have knight d4 here. E7 is a move. I don't know if it's actually a good move. It feels good, but it also feels very... I'm going to go for it. If it feels good, it feels bad. But I think if I'm getting this, this must be winning, surely. Like knight d6. Hard to believe that this isn't just a win. Oh, he's got rooks. Oh, no. Am I about to throw this game? Oh, no. Don't tell me I just threw this game away. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Did I just throw this game away? Yeah, I think I did. Do I have, like, rook? No. Focus, focus. Here, maybe? I'm trying to come with... I think he blunders it. Don't I have this? I fork him with 90. I fork him with 98. Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's just go here. Okay. Now I'm up on time, and now the rush should be pretty smooth. Is because more pieces come off the board. Okay, I just go here. Go here, I guess. That's a bad. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, but now, yeah, now, now the last piece on the board should be pretty easy. Here I have G3, of course. Got to move. Why am I so slow suddenly? Ah, what am I doing? It was a little bit shaky from me, but it worked. Play a5. Let's let's start up our disrespect speed run with a6, c6, a5, c6. Why I take the queen? Yeah, exactly. Let's go g6, bishop g7. It's actually turning into something resembling a real position. Let's go here, just castles, of course. Yeah, now I can even take and go like knight c5, and it looks somewhat real. Here, bishop f8, of course. Yeah, this position is starting to look somewhat real, which is kind of bizarre. Because a5 is now a great move. It actually supports everything I want here. I think he's tilting a little bit, actually. I go bishop c5 or knight c5. I also have a4, a3. I think I'm going to go a4, a3 here. Okay, bishop b4 maybe to pressure the knight. With knight b5, I have queen a5, of course. What he does. Yeah, I think I've got a good position. I think he's tilting a little bit. Yesterday's streak was like 47 and a half out of 48 or something like that. So go here, activate the knights. D's knights, very good. I've got queen a5 as well. There's g5 I could take. I mean, I don't see why knight h5, knight f4 shouldn't just be very, very good for me. I, I think my opponent is definitely tilting a little this game because the, the way you play this game is not i mean he's playing better before this game just feels like a, a sort of a throwaway loosey-goosey game you can always take the knight i can always go queen a5 i can also just go knight f4 here now look at d's knights d's knights really really well placed really really well placed ah okay goes bishop g4 i have queen a5 here could also just put a knight back on e6 here as well I mean, takes is a move that I have. I don't really like it, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is two juicers, right? It is two juicers. Oh, wait, no, he's got, oh no, he's got bishop c5. Aye, aye, aye. And queen a5 is a bad move too, I think. 
Oh wait, no, it's not. Cause now you two, I take, 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 check me. Oh, he has to go D2. Okay. So do I trade on G4 or do I, yeah, actually I think I just go here and Rook D8. I mean, look at D's Rooks. Look at the, the weaknesses, massive weaknesses in the center of the board. This should just be close to winning for me. So he's, he's got no mates. He's also got no, no hoppers. If there are no hoppers, the file doesn't matter here because I'm crashing through on, in the uh, center of the board and I, also probably on the queen side too. Yeah, 50 and a half, no, we're not going for that. No, I, I lost a couple of games to start the stream, much like the last time that I actually set the record. Like I won on that massive streak and then I lost a couple of games and everyone's like, wait, your rating's 100 points lower, what happened? Your, your rating was like so-and-so and it's like, yeah, you know, things happen, unfortunately. It goes there. Um, I think I should just put one of my knights on e6, probably this knight on e6 and knight d4. And he's trying to activate the rook. I understand that. I mean, I think I just go here and then knight f8. And I mean, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, uh, go here, I guess. Take. I could have taken with the pawn too. Oh, he's got F3. Uh, I should have taken with the pawn. Why I do this? I mean, I'm still winning, of course, but I guess I go Knight G5 and guard. It's good enough. I'm not thrilled by the way I play this, but it's good enough. No, it's good enough. It's good enough. one okay i assume i just go here to tickle the rook and then takes and yeah now this is very basic he has queen h2 but now i just go h6 bishop guards the pawn queen guards yeah this is uh weaknesses he resigns okay let's go again i feel like he's tilting a little bit i could be wrong but i feel like he's tilting so that's why i want to play like three more and get to 32 50 if possible i'm in mean, record i'm gonna have to get hot and i'm gonna need the right opponents at the right time so Actually, he played knight f6. This is a Karl Kahn. This is not, or French, not a Karl Kahn. Why did I go knight g3? So I'll just go here. Could I beat Magnus? Uh, beat Magnus, what, win a game? Win 10 games? Win, win a match? I mean, what do you mean? If you mean like win 10 games, absolutely out of the question. Um, I could never adopt Magnus. I want, I mean, a, an interesting question is whether Magnus and I have actually been adopted um, in matches. Like I suspect I have probably when I was much younger, um, but I, I bet Magnus too, but I wonder how weak we were when we got adopted. Like, were we like, were we better than 2300 or were we like 2200? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting question. Um, I'll go A4, maybe A5 here. Do I play FPS? Uh, I do play Fortnite quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, Fortnite's my game. That's my jam. My jam. My jam. He goes knight d5, which I don't necessarily want to take, but I feel like it's got to be the right approach. Um, yeah, let's just take and go here, I guess. I've got D's knights, which are very jumpy, huh, jumpy, dumpy. Pawn and d5, a little bit weak. Um, I don't want to say it's like winning or anything. I think if I play queen d, I think I'll just go... Maybe here. I'm trying to create like some kind of wooden shield in the middle of the board, like bishop d4 and pressure everything else. Yeah, I want to put a bishop on d4, maybe a knight on e3, something like that. If possible. So I'll pre move this in case he takes. I don't think he will, but he could, obviously. Did anybody ever adopt you? Uh, or someone's replying? I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing it happened when I was much weaker, when I was like 22, 2300. Um, what is this? He wants F6 or something? I feel like there should be some tactics here that I'm missing. Can I go Queen G4, Knight H5? Knight H6, he just takes any blocks. I mean... Wait a second. I can also go Queen D4. Knight H5. I don't know. I'm gonna go for it. It looks right. Let's go here. Trying to harass him with D's knights. 
And I've got D's Knights all up in his face. Um, I mean, maybe he's got tactics that I don't see, but this looks very scary for Black. Wow, seems like a better than a card I've never been adopted, indeed. Um, I mean, it's still not clear. I'm still not sure that I'm actually even winning. But in a, in a practical situation here, I'm up a minute on the clock. So what I need to do here is I need to... There, there's going to come a moment here where I need to look for the best move, or I have to make the decision just, like, cheese him off the, off the face of the earth. Uh, that doesn't look like the move to me. Um, that really doesn't look like the move. Can't I just go bishop... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. That really looks wrong. Um, okay, but see, this is where I have to figure out. Do I go for the big cheese, or do I just... I think I just go here. I think I've just got to try to win the game, basically. Yeah, this is where at some point you have to decide, like, what are you doing? Are you going to be practical or are you just going to, like, be practical and just win the game? I'm like, what? I just take and go here? I thought he had to sack the rook and then play bishop d7. No, this he's going to lose on time alone. Yeah, and now he's just down exchange. He's going to lose on the clock alone. Go here in F3, of course. Yeah, it's just down too much time here. And now I win the game. Very, very smooth and simple. Um, I have H4. I think I'm just going to trade Queens. Again, in an end game here, there's no way he survives this. Which one do I take is also an interesting question. Um, I, don't, I think I take this one, maybe. I mean, he's still going to survive, but he's going to lose on time. Now I'm going to tickle him with Bishop D4. See, now I go for some tickle tickle. And now I go here, and I'm going to tickle tickle again. Okay, now he realized that I'm just going to tickle him to death. So I'm going to go Rook A5. Yeah, he realized that I'm going to start tickling him with the Bishop moves, and he loses time. He's got no time. I think he realized that. Let's go Rook A1. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Two more, two more for glory. Um, let's play C6 this time in D5. Yeah, I mean, that's what you do is like, see, that that was not a great game by any stretch of the imagination. But once we got low, I made the right decision. Just like, it didn't matter how I won the game as long as I won the game. So like, he was low enough on time that I knew that if, he, if I kept him low on time, eventually he would lose. Uh, let's go E6 and maybe Bishop D6. Go here, trade some B shops. Um, let's go here, maybe knight d7. I still might castle either way. I'm not sure which way I'm castling, basically. Um, I guess I'll castle king's side. Cranley's just trying to stay relevant. Like I said, I'll talk about all that a little bit later on. I'm gonna go rook a d8 here. Expected that. Um, I don't know if I should trade, but I will trade. Play like rook e8. I love you. I mean, I can take and go knight g6, which is also completely fine. I don't really want to do this, but I mean, knight e5 is the other way to. Oh, knight, knight e5, there's queen f4. I gotta be careful. Um, I think I'm just gonna go queen d6 here. I also have bishop h5 somewhere, maybe, but whatever. Time matters here. Do I go knight? How do I activate my piece? Is the problem. I think I'm gonna go here to hit the rook. You can go bishop e2, of course. And I'm gonna just trade and rotate my knight to g6 and play a position. Maybe I just go back. No, actually, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some tickle tickle. Play a game of tickle tickle. Just waste a little bit of time, make him have to think. I saw a comment of a banker who thinks Jossman is cheating. Like I said, that's actually the single biggest reason I'm making a big deal out of it. Um, and that's what Kramnik doesn't understand is that for me, what it's become is it's much more about like the false accusations across the board and he needs to be checked. Um, he, he should, I don't care if he's a former world champion, he shouldn't be allowed to make false accusations, even if he, even if he tries to hide it with the language. Um, there's knight of three. Now I do have, 
I mean, I have C5, but I don't... Eh. I have F5, I've got C5. Okay, I gotta think. Um, think is the wrong word. I just gotta, I gotta move. I gotta move. Pick up the speed. I'm gonna go H5, which I think might also be wrong, but I was worried about G4, G5 with issues, so that's why I just snapped it. I'm with H5. So here, I'm gonna go Rook D8, of course. So... I guess I'll go maybe here. I don't even know if Queen A3 is a good move. Let's go A5. Maybe A4 here. Uh, I was trying to go Knight H4. Okay. Uh, I'll still play A4. Okay, I guess I'll go Rook H8 now. Maybe I go like Rook A8. So he does play d5 now. I mean, I probably should have thought a little bit more. I'm up on time. I guess I'll... Uh, this is not what I... Uh, this is not what I wanted. Maybe I just go rook d8. I think I'll just go here. I think I should be okay. I hope I'm okay. Uh, maybe I'm not, but whatever. I, I, I mean... Okay, I have to pre because if he takes either pawn, I have to do this. I mean, he has C7, but I can check, I think. Oh, maybe it's not that easy. That take, of course. Not the best position I've ever had, but I think it's playable. Um, C5 makes a lot of sense to fix the pawns. Now the question is, how do I play, though? I'm running out of moves. Maybe, like, queen b4. Queen b4 is also not a good move. I should have played queen b2. Go here. I have h4, maybe, though? I think he missed h4. Tricky. Thank you so much to Lois Chess Elo NA for subscribing. Now they're, now they're tricks, though, because he's, he's very low on time, also. I'm going to go here. Now, this is where I start to play for... This is where I start to hard play him. Oh, that's a blunder. Lovely. Let's go here. I should have taken on G3 first. I don't know why I didn't do that. But he's still got no time, so he's not going to be able to survive this. I don't have a tickle tickle here, so... How's there no way to win? There's no insta tickle. Okay. How do I do this? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the heck? I didn't see. Oh, I didn't see mate in one. What the heck? What the fridge? I didn't see mate in one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, last game. Oh my god! I didn't see mate in one. What the fudge? <laughs> I went blind for a split second. Oh my gosh! How did that? Did that actually just happen? Did that actually just happen? I like I, I'm actually like confused. And now I'm gonna tilt and blunder immediately. What the heck was that? Yeah, more more fuel. Yeah, I can't believe that I just missed a mate in one. What the heck was that? I didn't see mate in one. I literally didn't see it. Get some coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I did that. I'm, I'm still kind of in shock. I'm actually kind of in shock. I can't believe I just did that. Let's go here. 
I'm actually like, I'm just kind of, sh I'm kind of in shock. I'm actually just like, I can't believe that. Yeah, now I blunder 926. I should just trade. What am I doing? Got knight h6 at least, but yeah, I'm just I'm kind of just in shock. I'm actually in shock. I can't cannot believe what I just did. And I don't know what I'm doing this game either now. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. I'm just, I can't believe that. Unbelievable. All right, time to get back to, time to get back to 3250. That, that game would have gotten me there. <sighs> Let's play A4. Yeah, I'm, I actually cannot believe that I just did that. Wait, where's my queen? It's on F4. Yeah, I'm, I just, I, I'm just shocked. I was 32 76. Yeah, I lost three games to start the stream today, first of all. Um, wait a second. Okay. So I take d3, d1, d2, d3, queen, d6. I think I should take first. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just stunned. I go what oh wait what am I doing here wait a second wait a second wait a second this should be winning if I'm precise I'll go check I think I have queen e3 here, which should be winning. It's insane. And now I have king f2 and king e2, and I just win. Yeah, terrible. Let's play something different. Let's play an Ali Atkins defense. See what he has in his bag of tricks against this one. He's also adapt. Well, that's the thing. Everyone adapts the style of play accordingly. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah, that's also what makes it harder over a longer stretch to maintain a high score. That's exactly that's exactly what happens. Because yeah, when, when you play more and more games, the other players also adapt your style, which is why, why like which is why statistically it becomes harder and harder to maintain um, a good score. I don't know. This looks like a free pawn. Am I blundering something here? Or is he just like fool of Bologna? What is this? The way this looks like Bologna time. I have a five. I mean, am I, is he fool of Bologna or is this some kind of weird theory that I'm unaware of? No, I think he's fool of Bologna. He is. He's just fool of Bologna. I put the knight back on G6 and I should be fine. Yeah, the, the, no, the probability is that basically the chances of me slipping up in one game just become higher and higher because, of course, like, also at the start, the openings aren't really fast. So, for example, if I perceive myself to have a big advantage in the opening phase of the game at the start, as we play more and more games, I play more knight f3, e3, as I play more e4, d4, whatever systems I start playing, he get, he can adapt them much more easily. 
so so that's the thing like the, the players adapt to it um and so you don't get that big time edge out of the opening either so you lose the time edge um amongst many other things as well i might add um okay queen b5 doesn't really concern me i'm just gonna go b6 here not even necessary perhaps but i think it's fine na 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 he didn't have rookie one check in the previous game nope or you mean queenie one maybe but no he didn't have it I guess let's go here obviously go up four I mean everything here should be good for me it's just a matter of what the best way to... I could also just take and go I think I'm just gonna take and go king h8 and rook g8 here actually just very simple chess I mean at some point I probably have e5 takes d5 to boot but it goes I think actually I, I mean I didn't really like this initially but queen c6 Of course here it's not as conveniently good obviously queen c6 d5 rookie six d5 rookie six rook c8 queen b6 takes takes knight f4 e5 d e6 f e6 queen c6 <coughs> queen f6 rook d6 95 i think it's fine though i'm gonna go for it yeah yeah, of course he spots this. I expected that. Um, but I thought I could play Queen F6. So if he takes, I have 95. If he takes with a Queen I have Rook D8, and I think this is good for me. I didn't I didn't want to play D5 because then he has rookie six, and suddenly it gets very, very messy. But I think this should be fine. Because now I'm hitting the rook, I'm hitting the bishop. I've got a great bastion. I've got 95 to hit the bishop, so it should be very good for me. Am I missing something? I don't think I am. Um, no, he's using too much time, so I'm not missing anything. I don't think. I take yeah. Okay, good. Bishop f1. Okay, now the key is how do I simplify? Oh, do I just do I just win here with rook c8, rook b8, c8, queen b6, rook b8? Yeah, I see nothing. Yeah, I just win quickly with rook b8. So I need to win six more to get to 32.50 after this. So I'm going to play six more. That's the goal, 32.50. Kai Caro, I hope you're doing well. Legit, the sole reason I've kicked download. Awesome, that's great to hear. Surgical checkmate, great. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving, by the way. I know I, I actually was streaming, so I missed most of the football. The football game last time was actually a bit of a dud between the uh, 49ers and the Seahawks. But I hope everybody had a good, um, good Thanksgiving with their family. I'll be celebrating Thanksgiving tonight uh, once my family arrives in town. Okay, six more. Let's keep going. Play E4 again. Hey, Gar, thanks for the Kasparov book tip. He explains difficult situations well. Um... Bro is live today. Yes, we are live. I'm going to play the King's Indian attack. Again, this is sort of in the spirit of playing something different to try and get him to have to use time in the opening. Because again, this guy is a good player. He's legitimately a good player. His problem is that actually this feels a little bit dubious, but I, I, I don't want to burn my whole clock. So I'm going to go for the traditional attacking li lines um, like H4, H5, Bishop F4, all very standard. Because see, he's going to have to burn time in the opening. And that's what I was saying. Like when you play more and more games, you play the same openings over and over and over again. Uh, players adapt and they get used to f6 I don't think it's supposed to be a good move here um I think just c3 and d4 so I'm trying to play a new opening to sort of get him out of his preparation out of his opening book so I can try to build a big time edge from the get-go plan today we're gonna be playing uh, some blitz we're gonna do an arena obviously a little bit later on I will give one final I will give one final comment um on the Cranmix stuff um and then uh and then we'll watch the Stinkfold Cup and then we'll watch um and we'll watch Master Chef. Most likely that's the plan. Uh, D4 looks pretty solid here just to stop E5. Knight E4 play. I can play Knight E2, I think, just to trade the Knights. There should be E3 first, also maybe a move. Will it really be the last one? Yeah, I think it will be. I'm not going to give him any more credence. I'm not really going to talk about it anymore. It's obviously a false accusation. I don't have to justify, justify myself. And uh, he's, he's made it very personal, unfortunately, uh, instead of keeping on the topic. And he's sort of blindly ignoring actual stats, which... It's a little bit disappointing to see because I feel like, you know, if you get to the top of your field in chess, uh, in chess, you would think that you would have some respect for people who are at the top of their field and something else. Um, and apparently Kramnik doesn't. So, yeah, it's a little bit sad to see.
Um, I think I'm actually going to take and go bishop e3 here, offer the trade, maybe like a4, c4, something like this. Yeah, so let's just take. He's got all these weaknesses. I mean, everything's very weak here. A4 is a move, but I think I'm just going to go for something very Capablanca esque. I'm just lining up the legendary triple stack. And I think black's in a lot of trouble here. A lot of trouble, actually. Um, just line up legendary triple stack, the gun, as they call it sometimes. Uh, knight e5 is very good. I'm going to go knight h4 and f4, I think, here. It's not, it's not the only way to play this for a win, but it's one of the ways to play it. I, basically, I want to grip the center so there's no push. Then, then I assume I can bring the knight back at bishop h3. This looks really, really bad. Let's go here, knight g5, huge threat. Bishop h3, huge threat. I mean, it's going to be very hard for black to hang on. Um, I mean, knight g5 might be good enough, but bishop h3 just looks awesome. Look at this triple stack. Free pawn, right? Takes, 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 and it's a free pawn. Unless I'm blundering something, but I don't think I am. No, I'm not. I'm attacking with threes, guarding with twos, so yeah. I go like rook d6, rook d5. This is going to be over pretty soon. That's a free pawn. He's probably going to resign pretty soon. Uh, knight d4, of course. I think knight c... No, knight c6 doesn't work. This takes, takes c2, rook c6, knight c4. Found a little wrinkle. Nice, nice idea. But I just take. Um, can check. I think I'll just... Yeah, I'll just check. Go here, I guess. Trying to go over some kind of backdoor mate with knight f8, maybe. Also, rook a7. Um, rook e8 is also pretty decent. Actually, rook e8 might just be one of the simplest ways to win this. Because I'm just going to trade the I'm going to trade the rooks off the board. Once the rooks come off the board with the two outside pawns and the fact that I've got a 3v2 here, I mean, yeah, there's just no way. I mean, I'm just, yeah, I just bring the king over. I've, I've got extra P on the queen side. No shot. And now I bring my king closer. Inevitably, this is just winning. I just bring the king over to the king side. It was G5. I could actually just take even. Yeah, I think this, this is even just winning. GH. Oh, well, actually, yeah, I've got white peoples, right? This should be winning. I go here, I take, and it's easy. Yeah. Hikaru, what time should I start cooking my popcorn? I'm, I'm actually just done with the whole thing. Like, there's not much more that needs to be said. I find the whole thing very disappointing. So don't don't expect some, like, some huge drama or something, because there isn't going to be any. Um, okay, I just go A6, start pushing the P here, A7. Oh, why did I do that? I just... I mean, I'm still winning, but I just got really careless here here I just take and I just win yeah let's just go here knight d4 the king e4 is even simpler to start pushing the wide peepos you can't stop them both Back. there we go all right next game five more to go keep going um let's play the French actually what's he I forget what he was playing against the French Okay, I'm gonna go b6, bishop a6 this time. Something a little bit, a little bit more off the beaten path. Something to sort of complicate the, the issue a bit. Go here, c5, obviously, c3, knight e7. Change your mind, girl. Changes clothes. Any Singfield Cup FOMO? No, not at all. I mean, the Singfield Cup has been three draw, three very, very boring days of draws. No FOMO whatsoever. Why didn't I go knight f5 and h5 also, by the way? Stupid. I should have gone knight f5 and h5. You're hot, then you're cold. You're yes, then you're no. You're in, then you're out. You're up, then you're down. It goes B4. Wow, what a move. Um, what is what is this? Am I missing something? This looks ridiculous. What is he doing? This looks ridiculous. Yeah, I think this guy's getting a little bit tilty now. 
This is a custom place. I think he's getting tilty because this is ridiculous. What is he doing? I'll just go here. I mean, he has knight b3, I guess, or something, but... Um, I think I'll take and go f6 here. There's also a pawn in a3 hanging. I just realized, too. Um, I think I'm going to move my king away. I don't really want to allow any weird stuff happening here. Um, let's go here. I mean, every, everything's winning here, but knight b it's good enough. Goes rook a1, which I don't understand at all. Just go here, I guess. I'm going to try to bring my knight in. I had rook h3 maybe as well. Go, oh. Goes f5. Okay, I think I should. This should be losing. Um, There should be some trick with like d4 or maybe rook h3 even. Now let's go rook h3. Can't go king g2 because I just sack. And then I fork him with 95. Okay, first things first, let's just take. Actually, maybe that wasn't right though. Maybe. Why did I do that? I'm still probably winning, but uh, I've made this a little bit messier than I need it to be. Although I do have knight d7 here again. No, I don't because now he's king g2. What am I doing? I'm go g5 maybe i think i'm gonna go for this because he can't move the bishop he has to take and then i go like rook, rook f8 and i mean this should be winning go here wait this must be winning no rook f4 i also have queen d7 queen g4 big threat no it's just lost i'm just winning the game okay let's keep going where is it wait i have to go i mean this is winning probably but I've, I've actually made this very tricky i'll go here i'm still winning obviously but it's not easy like I've, I've made a little bit of a mess i mean i guess not really a mess because the white king is so weak and my king is actually very very safe in the corner here but not not ideal that's for sure um, the streak is over, you guys. The streak's over. As you can tell from my rating, I'm not where I was. I'm getting another triple stack, by the way. I just take and take. Actually, no, I'm not getting a triple stack. He goes there. Bishop h4 is good. Knight e5 is simple. I just take and block with the queen. Force queens off the board. Now, I'm, now I've just got a 2v1. King is very weak. I've got these knights in the middle. I mean... He can try to survive this, but he's not going to. Especially not with 27 seconds. Um, there goes a pawn. Trade. Just hit the rook. Go here, a knight e3, big threat. Here, a knight h5, also good enough. I just have two outside pawns, very easy. I see his idea, by the way. He's trying to get me to... I, I see his idea. Yeah. Let's go here. Yeah. Let's keep going. Play e4. Four more to go. Play d3, knight e2. And knight f3. Play g3, bishop g2, and castles here. Play rook e1. Playing this king's any attack. He, he didn't get a good position. Um, he didn't get a good position uh, last time, so I'm just going to keep going for the same thing. I mean, no, okay, it goes there. Queen b6 is kind of weird, too. I'm trying to remember. I think I should play c3 here. e4. Uh, I'm going to go c4 here and take. d4 does not feel like the right approach here to me somehow. Go here. Go to like 92, 94. I mean, I really like my position here, actually. I think I've got a great position. 94. Oh. 
I just blunder again? I did. Lovely. <sighs> like, why didn't I go A3 to begin with? So stupid. I mean, I, I should have played just A... Actually, I, I didn't have A3, I guess. There was an A2-3. Hmm. But whatever. The show goes on. D8. Okay, so... So, like... There, I guess. Get the pawn on A5 here. I'm definitely worse, by the way, but... I'm worse, but I've got two bishops. If I can somehow get this light square bishop active, I can probably survive and maybe even win the game. While I play the strongest players, uh, I already tried that earlier. It didn't go. It didn't. It didn't work out very well. <laughs> Knight f8 logical. Um, I mean, I, somehow I need to get my bishops active. I think bishop d2. Bishop d2 feels like a good move. I don't know why, but it just it feels like the right approach. Um, I feel like I should have some way to play. It's like, maybe here. But I got to pick up the speed. Actually, that's my one problem here. I'm too slow again. I've got to pick up the speed. Go here. Yeah, I need to pick up my speed because the I'm, I'm definitely in some trouble on the board here. How do I do this, though? Maybe I go like... Of course, I put all my pieces on the wrong squares. I can maybe force a draw with knight d2. Go for it. Oh, oh, it's my mouse getting stuck. I have this weird rook b1 draw idea. Rook b1, rook c1. I think I can draw the game, maybe. Knight g5. I need to play. Gotta be careful. Come on, come on, come on. Here. Okay, that's a bad move, I think. Yeah, now, now I got a four. Making some slight. Wait, I've got bishop c6, actually. Wait, I've got bishop e4 and bishop. Wait a second, wait a second. No, I think I go here. Wait, wait, now I'm back in business, actually. I'm completely back in business. Um. So I might take this one and go here on bishop e4. I'm back in business. Yes, we're back in business. I've got a great bishop, actually. This is great. It's still not, not simple, by the way, just to be clear. But let's go here. Okay. Here. How do I do this? How do I do this? You got to focus. It's still tricky somehow. Got to come with a move. You got to come with a move. I'm just going to go here. Go here. Yeah, yeah I've got to move faster. Go here. That's a mistake. I'm going to go here. It's a big mistake. Now I'm going to win the game on time, I think. This king is so bad here, by the way. It's amazing. Oh, he hung the rook. I didn't even notice that, but... Club this one, too.
Why do I hang my bishop? Uh, could be five. Uh, I swindled him and then I had to mess it up. A draw is still okay. It's just it means I have to reset again. This guy's probably a little bit too good. I mean, I'm still doing well overall, but... Maybe I castle queenside this time. It's d5, okay. Take. Castle, I guess. Missing skewers and forks? Yeah, I know. I should have won that game on time. I mean, I missed the meat. The meat and one is the one that killed me, though. Because the, the other draws are okay. But missing the meat and one just killed me. Because that was a game I should have won. Play Bortnik, I could, but I don't know. I feel like I can beat this guy seven in a row. I do. That's my goal, at least. If I win seven more, that gets me, what, 19-2? That's a pretty good score, actually. Wait, what? There's GG. Yeah, I just blundered. Okay, I'm going to win this one quickly. Okay. Yeah. Liam Putnam and Andy Woodward are playing the U.S. Masters. Okay, we might cover that for a little bit, too. Um, But, yeah. I mean, this takes like here and just work D seven easy. All right, all right. I mean, everything wins here, but let me think about this. Is there an easy way to win? Like, Queen E5, I kind of don't want to give him any counterplay, so I think I'm just going to go here. But now I just realized I did something wrong again. <sighs> what the fridge am I doing? What the heck? I mean, I'm sure I'm still winning, but or I should be, but this is ridiculous. Yeah, of course he spots Queen A3, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I was completely winning this game out of the opening, and now I've really messed this up. I'm still winning, but jeez. Here. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe what I've done. Yeah, like, I'm still winning this game, I'm sure, but I've really made a mess out of this now. I have to go, like... I don't even win this game. It's unbelievable. Okay, let's go... Go here, I guess? No, I've really messed this up. It's unbelievable. Sign of old age, exactly, you guys, exactly. Here. I just can't believe what I've done to the position. It's unbelievable. This is, this is like literally GG. I mean, I could have played rookie seven, rookie eight. I win this game like literally 99 out of 100 times. Okay, let's go here. I mean, I'm still winning luckily, but man, what a mess. Yeah, I think I have 94 now. And now once the pieces start to come off the board, I mean, this just has to be winning, no? <sighs> so ridiculous. No, I mean, what, I just gotta move, I gotta move. What am I doing? Did I just blunder again? I did, right? Yep. Yep, of course I blundered again, obviously. <sighs> Ridiculous. He's got queen d2 even, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing in this game. 
Yeah, he's got this too. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. Wait, what is he doing? This should be winning. This should be a win for me. Of course, I mess up again. God, I'm playing such bad chess. Okay, last last few. It's not my day. I was completely winning that end game too. I think. <sighs> yeah, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. Very very frustrating what I'm doing today. Like even that game, I'm mean, completely winning and then I I mess it up so totally. Yeah. go here and take I guess still completely reasonable I can just actually put it together like it's just upsetting because that was a game I, I win in my sleep yeah I was I was winning I, I should win that game in my sleep here like literally I should just win that game in my sleep go here but I'm gonna focus and just blow them away 10 games and I'm gonna stop it's gonna I'm gonna reset and focus I'm not gonna be talking to chat. He's not sus. No, he's just he's 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 too good to just like win every game easily. He's not sus. He's just too good to win every game easily. Um, let's go here in rook d1. You know what's sick about that last game is if he had the other pre-move enabled, I would have won on time. It was a 50-50. If he didn't, if he had GF5, if he had King G4 pre-move instead of GF5, I win the game. That's what's sick about the last game, actually. That was a 50-50 at the end. When he went G4, if he had pre-moved King G4, I win. But he had pre-moved GF5. Yeah. It's actually kind of sick. This game, I'm going to win quickly, though. Because now, now, now I'm... Or win quickly, maybe it's too strong a way of putting it. But, I mean, I, I must be winning here. Trying to really pressure him hard. Of course, he spots that. I expected him to. Um, he actually looks very wrong. Uh, Bishop F4 looks wrong. I'm going to go for this. This might be wrong, but I think it's okay. See what he does. I think I'm winning. Oh, knight h5 can't be. Can't be right, or is it? He has some. He has some nonsense again with bishop e5 or something? Jeez. Five, e seven. No, I don't buy it. I just take. I don't believe him. He's full of Bologna. I just sacked the queen and I mean, this must be winning. Because I can take and I'm guarding everything. This, this can't possibly work. I mean, I have, to, I have two not, two bishops and a knight for the queen. I don't have to win 10 in a row because this is plus three. This game is plus three, but I don't know if the next one's plus three or plus two. See what he does. I'll pre move it in case he takes. Yeah. I've got this. I mean, 
I've got three pieces for the queen, actually. I've got two bishops and a knight uh, for the queen. I'm in. Just, okay. The thing here is I want to win this game properly. I'm, I'm up a lot of time. I don't I don't want some like nonsense where I have to win on time. Let's think about this. Knight f6 looks correct. I need to just take and there's there should be an Arabian check and I just take the rook. Yeah, okay, that's one. Winds are still plus three, so yeah, okay, let's let's reset. Winds are still plus three. Okay. So I actually only need to win nine in a row, so eight more. I'm gonna be ignoring chat mostly though, because I, I want to be super serious right now. This guy is starting to annoy me a little bit. Why so serious? Why so serious? Castle. Oh, I should have castled kingside actually. Wait, why did I go for this? This was not my intention. Shoot. Okay, let's take. Go here. This was actually not what I intended to do at all. I was going to castle kingside, but I confused with the previous game where I went d5. Okay, I can play h5, I guess. I have e5, but I'm just going to go for the big attack on the king side here. I think I'm much better here, by the way. Also f5. I'm just going to go h4, h3, probably. I go h3. I also have f5 and rook g8. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think this is good. I just have like H3. I'm I'm trusting that I'm. Uh, I think I should check first. So take. Okay, now I need to think. So I thought King B8 was just winning on the spot, but maybe it's not. here <sighs> I think I'm winning though this must be winning I mean I just want to go rook g2 oh no I missed queen e3 of course great great I actually blundered great 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 stuff um Missed Queen E3 completely. I mean, I still have great chance to win the game. In fact, I think I am probably still winning. I look so serious, a little bit like Max. Well, it's just I'm not playing. I'm not playing while uh, I'm playing a good player, a better player, one of the players. Wait, isn't this just GG? Can't I sack the queen? Yeah, I just sack the queen and it's just checkmate. Okay, well, at least I get this slight, slight. Oops, don't spill the coffee. At least I get a slight gift here. Yeah, frustrated is not the same as serious. Yeah. Okay, seven to go. Now it's plus two again. So let's 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 reset mentally. I'm gonna play the same line probably. Why not rook g two before? It wasn't quite working. So here. Uh, you did miss it though. It is like the only move. Rook g2 on which no rook g2 there is queen e8 check. No rook g2 there is queen e8 to sack the queen, and then queen d8 takes takes, and I'm just down material. No rook g2 is queen e8. No, you guys are wrong. Let's go here. Hi, Ikaru. Can you say hi? How's it going? Sigisti man. Hope you're having a great day. Let's go 93. Yeah, let's just castle. No, no, it, it doesn't work. Why am I not? I annoyed my score is four and a half. Yeah, but I'm not gaining points. <laughs> I'm losing points on the score. And I have a loss that I never should have. I have a game that I lost that I never should have lost. So is this just a mistake for me? Lovely. Let's go knight of five. Actually, is this? I don't think this is a blunder. I think he blundered. Kind of. Guys, want. 
Girl that the bad guys want. Girl all the bad guys want. Girl all the bad guys want. Oh, is this... Of course I miss Queen G4, obviously. Oh, great, yay, I made another mistake, yay. I think I'll go here to hit the pawn. I mean, I have the two bishops. That's the one thing I do have here. Play f3. I think I... Oh my god, he's got bishop c5, which I didn't even see. Ridiculous. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Go here. Bad. I just blunder again. Oh wait, no, I've got 93. No, no, I can take with the bishop. See, yeah, now, now I'm starting to get like really, really shaky. Suddenly out of nowhere, it's like I can't play a good move. Yeah, I'm playing really shaky suddenly. Suddenly I'm just blundering. Yeah, I'm having my one really bad game. Should have gone rook f4, of course, as well. Um, but now, maybe I can go like, I don't really want to take, but I'm just going to take and play like F3. I mean, I really don't want to play like this, but I just have to survive. If I can survive and get the, get into the time scramble, I can still win the game. I just have to survive this before I hang the house. You can't take, so I run the king up. Yeah, if I can just survive to the end game, I'll probably win with the two bishops. Go here. Go here. I'm going to go F4 and King F3, probably. Yeah, see, I mean, now I have a good chance to survive. I just have to survive. And if I can survive long enough, eventually he's going to make a mistake, basically. At least that's my my assumption. Go like Bishop C2, I guess. Yeah, I just have to survive long enough to where he'll, he'll make a mistake, basically. Let's go like... Um, maybe just like G4 and King G3, even. Here maybe. Um, how do I do this? I don't know why I played rook b1 either. It's a bad move. But whatever, just start going fast. Hangs a pawn, which I'll take. Yeah, he's misplaying this. I should win the game now. He's too slow. Yeah, he's completely misplayed this. Okay, how do I open it up? Let's go here. Rook B4, very important move. Can I take? Yeah, now I tricked him. Now he's going to lose. Yeah, he's going to lose. Now he just loses. <sighs> yeah. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho. A little bit psycho. Yeah, I found a way to win that one, but that was not good either. Yeah, how do I always do this? Today, I'm not always doing it, but I'm trying. Let's go here in E6. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho, and night she's screaming, my, 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 my. I could have just traded first, I guess. Oh, Okay, plays d5 anyway, so wait, so... 
If I take... I don't think this is working still, but maybe it is. I don't know. What do I know? Oh, that, yeah. Go a little bit psycho and night she's screaming, my, 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 my. But a psycho, a little bit psycho. I don't like my position here at all. I feel like my openings have actually gotten substantially worse for some reason. Yeah, my openings have gotten a lot worse. I feel like I'm getting bad positions every game now. In the opening. Sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho. When night she's screaming, ma 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 ma. She's hot but a psycho. Okay, I think I've survived because now I can castle and just play chess. I don't like the way that I played this game. I think I was in a lot of trouble. Um, so King G7, is there Queen A4 or something? I mean, I can always play C5, which I don't really like. Um, there's merit to C5. There actually is a lot of merit to this move, so I'm going to play it. And Knight B8. Quite a bit of merit, actually, because I can reroute the Knight to, like, B6, even. Of course, I missed G4. Ah... <sighs> I'll take and go here. I'm really starting to get annoyed at myself. I'm missing all these basic tactics that I should not be missing. I go here. Line up the ops. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that in this position. Only there's a good move here. Actually, wait a second. There should be something I can play, like maybe just rookie seven. I don't even like rookie. So actually, what? Okay, he goes G5, which I'm very happy to see. Big mistake, by the way, I think. Not guaranteed to be a big mistake, but I think it's a pretty big mistake. Because I have E4, and now the knight's jumping, and I'm not so sure about this position for white anymore. This is where I've got to really start pressing him on the clock, I think, though. If I don't press him on the clock, I think bad things happen. Go here in knight g4. Of course, I missed b6, obviously. But I have knight g4. Like, it's... It's bad, but it's not lost, at least. There's a lot of counterplay looming. If he doesn't have a way to win here in the next, like, 10 seconds, he's going to lose on the clock. And I don't think he does, because he's using too much time. Yeah, but now I can just take. Okay, this is where I just have to survive for like two moves and I win the game. Like here. So here to hit the queen. Take. Yeah, now now he's gonna get he's gonna get clocked. He's gonna get clocked hard. Yeah, I win the game. He's gonna get clocked. No, Rook B1, there was Rook D8 check. Rook B1, Rook D8 check, and I lose all the materials. Yeah. Doesn't matter because he's he's getting clocked. Game, keep going. Okay, five more, five more. Let's go. Actually, let's go back to this Kings in the Attack because I think I'm, I'm playing pretty well in this. These Kings in the, Kings in the Attack. Oh, is he upset? He played. Was 96 a mouse slip or not? I don't know. Might have been. 
I don't know if 986 was a mouse slip, but regardless. Um, just rookie one, of course. 95, of course. Oh, is there a free pawn? Oh. There's a free pawn. Oh, come on. Wake up. There's a... F oh, he wants Bishop H2 now. Okay, wait. Okay, let's think. Okay, let's think here. Queen G4 is a move. Knight F3 is a move. I'm just going to go Knight F3. Keep it simple. <sighs> I can take with the pawn, but Knight takes must be right. I mean, I'm just trying to play a position where the game goes on forever, essentially. I'll take... I guess I take with the Rook. I don't know. He gives me G3, which... If I don't play G3, I don't know what I'm even playing for, honestly. Yeah, Bishop F4. I have Queen G4 to force an end game. But see, this guy is at a level where I don't know for a fact that I can just crush him in an end game. So I'm not sure I want to go into an end game actually against him. But you know what? End games are fun. Magnus Carlson has shown that end games can be really, really fun to play. So let's just do it. F4 was also a pretty decent movie. Takes interesting. Um, what is this? Did I just blunder again? Probably I did. Yeah, again, somehow I've misplayed this. I have to go like here and not even better anymore. So here, kick this bishop away. I mean, I'm still better, but. Hmm. here I go here go here I'm playing this on purpose by the way normally I would not play this like I've thrown away any chance of an advantage but the thing is the, the game the show goes on that's why I'm playing like this because the show goes on we don't we don't have a quick draw I'm gonna go like uh, B3, maybe A4, maybe B4 at the right moment, depending. Let's H4, I'm not really worried about that. Um, the only question is when do I start pushing? I think I'll go here and King E1, King E2. I could have maybe taken the pawn, but it seems very sketchy. It goes to H3, which is interesting. Go here. And now I think I do a B4 though. Here he does. I should be okay here. If he wants to draw, maybe. But his time is a little bit low here. Like, I'm already starting to press him on the clock again. I guess I'll pre move this in case he plays b5. If he doesn't play b5, it won't happen. Let's see what he does. Close it position feels like he wants to draw. Maybe. Maybe he does, but... He's getting low on clock. That's the thing. He's getting low on time. So, again, five more games, five more for four and a half to get to 3250. That's my goal right now. It goes B6. So of course, I go to C3. Ah, it goes for this. Wow. I did not expect this, actually. I mean, is this really okay for black? Wait. I mean, maybe this is okay, but... Wait, wait, wait. Some kind of sick draw with Bishop F4. Some kind of sick draw with Bishop... With, 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 um... With that. With Bishop F4. What the heck? Guess I have to go for this? I don't believe this. But my G-Pawn is very fast here. No, I've got Bishop H6. It should be winning. He's got no time either. Yeah, okay.
There we go. Okay, next game. Let's keep going. Four more to go. Let's get away from the Carl Khan. I've been getting bad, bad positions. Um, so I'm finding ways to win these games, but I can definitely feel like my quality is not there. So if I can just put together four good games, we'll be where we want to be. Um, get him out of his prep and tactician him. It's more like get him out of his prep and out out position or out out technique him. That's more what it's about. Uh, oh, he's playing this line too. Um, I forget what the right move is. So I'm just gonna. What the heck happened? Are we back? We go here, King C7, King B8. Wait, are we back or not? Am I back or not? Wait, what the heck is going on? I'm actually really confused. What? Uh, let's go here. What the heck? Go here. I've got a great position in this game, by the way. Go here, maybe knight c6. That was a kick issue? I'm not sure. Let's go here, knight a5, maybe. Not really sure what that was. Um, let's go here. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Go here. Uh, let's take the pawn. I think you missed that. Yeah, I don't know. Let me check if I have the VOD, actually. Um, do I have it? What the heck happened? Wait, that's not the right VOD. Do I have the VOD? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Knight g3 played. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, let me focus. Uh, let's go rook h8, bring the queen back. Yeah. Stream comes back with a great position. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go back. Seems fine. I don't know if that was, I don't know what, whether that was OBS or what that was. Let's go H5. Okay. Um, okay, now the king side is closed, so I should just slowly improve my position here. Go here, bring the knight. I'm going to reroute my horses, by the way. I'm going to reroute the horses. Go here, knight f5, of course. Actually, let's go here. Why not? Yeah, this should just be winning somehow for me. What am I doing? I gotta move. Hack. I'm winning here. Okay. I do a check and make. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Okay, four, four, three to go. Let's keep rolling. I see three. I almost, I almost butchered that one. Crazy. Almost butchered it. Okay, three. Just stay sharp for three more games. That's all we need to do. Three more. That should be a mistake. That's just three pawns. That does look good for pawn. 
Okay, three more. Three more. Uh, I can take another pawn, right? Yeah, I'm just making sure that I'm not hanging anything obvious. Okay. Let's go here. Yeah, I'm just up two pawns here. I mean, I can't win this then. Okay, I'm obviously just a very bad chess player. Go back. All I need to do here is develop. There's like... Bishop G5 is fine. Bishop E3 is fine. I can also just castle maybe. Just have to make sure I don't do anything really, really stupid. Go here. I mean, I'm up two pawns. Like, but I can just activate my bishop and bring the rook in at GG in immediately. Yeah. We're three games away. Three away. More like two and a half if I play a good game. How bad can it be? It could be, <coughs> it could be really bad. Okay, he goes there. I'm very happy because now, I mean, uh, he has knight c4, though. He has tricks. But the, the thing is, I can never lose this position, which is very important as well. So if I go c3. Okay, focus. Focus. Trade, trade. How do I win this game? I can also just play rook c1, maybe. Seems fine. If I'm not blundering something obvious, I should just win expected that but now I can play like rook d1 and hit the queen I go here knight d2 no tricks knight d2 I just take 95 I have a four knight d6 just c4 and I win okay good also just rook e1 is good enough good two more two moss wait rook e1 he can actually no he can trade and go queen d2 not so it's not so fast let's just go c4 Okay, now rookie one, and I'm happy to trade a trade a set of juicers. Goes rook c7. Let's go here, hit the knight. He can obviously take, but again, at the end of the day, I'm up two pawns. If I can't win that, that's my own fault. Go here to hit the knight and the queen. And I'm gonna go rookie one, stack the two towers. Should be pretty clean here. A uh, bishop e4 is probably not the simplest way to win. But it's one of the simplest ways to simplify. Uh, simplest ways to, yeah, simplest ways to simplify the position. So. Wow, he saw Rook C1. I was really hoping he wouldn't see that. Um, yeah, I made a slight mistake. This is kind of the point about tactics for anybody who's wondering. takes I take of course I take I mean I'm up two pawns but it's not easy to win okay I have to go like actually I've got queen d4 hold the rook hold the pawn still not easy to win still very difficult to win in fact um I don't want to play a4 but I might have to actually a4 rook d4 actually what about queen d actually yes queen d2 is simpler let's go here start pushing the P and now I mean I, I should just don't want to mess this up let's go check let's go for the tickle tickle go here I mean this should be winning why did I do this by the way I don't know why I did this again I just did something completely insane for no reason He's also got king h5, which I kind of missed. Um, let's go here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm actually just misplaying this completely. Did I just throw this? I did. Lovely. He's got F6 and it's just a draw, probably.
He can't take that much. I'm sure because it's, it's a winning end game. But this might still be winning for me, actually, because he can't. He still can't take. Yeah, I win though. I, I'm winning. I think. Takes takes. Yeah, it's just a winning end game. Dosmas, I made that really tricky. I mean, that was horrible, but I, I but I found a way. Okay, let's go back to French's. Let's play D5. Let's play Knight F6. Let's keep playing what we played before. This is a classic uh, McCutcheon variation of the French. Again, like I said, I'll keep playing this because this point I know this is wrong, but I don't care. C2, Queen E2, Knight C3. Ah, uh, he wants to go over to H3, okay. Knight 7, F3. F3 I just take again, though. I think he's misplayed this a little bit. Because F3 I can just take, take, and I can play like BC4 and Rook C8 or Queen C7, etc. I think he misplayed this. Let's go here. I mean, he's going to go Rook A3 and try to play. I mean, that feels really, really extravagant. It might work, but it feels really extravagant. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna take, of course. Question is, do I go queen e7 or queen c7? They're, they're both playable. I can also play f6, but I think queen c7 looks correct to pressure the pawn. Try anything about my next move. I think this is okay. I mean, that's that's why I was thinking. I was expecting him to go see through. That's why I was so quiet because I was trying to figure out what my move was going to be. Oh man, did I really just blunder this? No, it's not a blunder. Knight e6, queen c6, knight g7, very messy. I didn't even see queen h5, ridiculous. I have queen c4 maybe? Oh, I could have taken g2 also. No, g2 is rook eight. Uh, it's got rook eight. Hey, it's very messy. Now, do I go to E7 or C7? Also a big question. I think I go to E7. Does it really matter? Because he's going to play Knight D6 no matter what, I think. Let's go here. Yeah, he's going to do it no matter what. I expected that. Yeah, I'm up a lot of time again, but we'll see. Yeah, let's go G5, of course. Three, okay. I can't take G2 because of Queen H2, obviously, but I can play E5, maybe. I can also go Bishop D3, which... Looks somewhat okay with Bishop F5, maybe? Queen H2, I have E5, always. Got queen f7 or something though. I mean, this feels very shaky for me. There's f3, which. Okay, what does f3 actually do? I've got to come up with moves here. But that doesn't do anything. Look here. 
Don't I have this? Oh, he's got queen e8 or something. Okay, I've just got I've got to, I've got to keep this pace up here. Um, how do I do this though? No knight moves. No. Just trapped his queen. This was this was the um, this was the game that I got lucky in. Hopefully, I can overcome it and play one more good game. That was the game that I should have lost. Okay. That's the game that I was in real trouble. That's the game that I survived. Um, yeah. Lucky, interesting. Yeah, let's go D four. with a knight maybe i could play the end game with the queen queen takes pawn but i don't want to play an end game here kind of at this point just playing an end game for the sake of playing playing an end game go back of course i can't take the pawn because there's rook d i mean maybe i could have i don't know but i i don't think it was right um i think actually now i'm just gonna play i'm just gonna play an end game because why not I'm like, no, I'm not gonna play an end game. It's like, yeah, let's just play an end game. Go H3, kick the bishop back. Let's go back to F3, of course. Very much like a uh, Alpin Sicilian end game. Plays E5, which I find kind of interesting. Pun unintended, of course. Go back. I feel like I'm getting some activity here with the knight. Yeah. What is this an adoption? I, I don't know if it is, but I'm not playing a good game, so. Fudge. Fudgy fudge fudge. This is not a good position. So I'm gonna have to start moving quickly because I'm not playing this very well. Was it a five? <sighs> Again. Bad play for me, just bad play. Or wait, is it bad play? Wait, is it? I've got rook d1 and knight e1. He might have made a slight mistake here. I'm still probably a little bit worse. But it's not as bad as it should be, actually. Yeah, it's not as bad as it should be. What about the lonesome loser? I think I'm okay, actually. What about the lonesome loser? About the lonesome loser? Yeah, of course he finds 95, and I mean, I don't love it per se, but I mean, I have I have tricks. I think I'll take. Go here, I guess. I don't actually have a good move with 96 though. I do have knight of four maybe. I guess I'll pre-move this in case he does. Uh, no, actually, should I take? Maybe not. No, actually, I should just take. And now I should start building my chain of pawns on the queen side. F4 does not look like the right move to me. I'm not sure why, but go here. I think I'm starting to outplay him a little bit. I missed that move, of course. I could play H4. It's a little bit risky here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, because now I'm going to try to reroute all my pieces. Of course, I misplayed this too. Still very tricky, though. 
All I need is one slight mistake from him, and I have chance to win. But the way I've played this doesn't really give me chances for that. Got to focus here. Come on, you got to focus, focus. Shoot, now I just blundered again, of course. I just had to throw this game away for no reason. Oh my god, and he... <sighs> With the fridge. Oh my god, I've... why did I go 985? Yeah, why did I go 985? Ridiculous. 985 was a ridiculous pre-move. Uh, ridiculous. I, I mean, ridiculous. Last three. Last three. I'm going to get 34 and just stop. I've had enough. I mean, if I'm going to play 985 pre-move there, I should just stop. So ridiculous. Nah, just so stupid by me. Yeah, minus 14, I know, because it's plus two. Let's go here. <laughs> I just can't believe that I, I played that move in the anticipation. So annoying. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I mean, that's so stupid. Like, I, I, I was completely fine out of the opening and then could have made that draw. And I mean, why did I play H4 too? H4 was also a ridiculous move, fixing a weakness on a dark square in the end game. Um, let's go here. Yeah, I'm not playing eight more, though. I'm not playing eight more. Because now I'm just too annoyed by the last game. I'll play three more, and then I'll find someone else to farm. Okay, um... I just can't believe that I did that. I can't believe that I put the pawn on H4. Of all the things I could do there. Uh, yeah, I lost like three out of my first four games to start the stream today. Yeah. Is Liam online? He's playing. Uh, he's playing a tournament right now. No, I mean I don't care about the rating that much. I'm just annoyed because I literally had one. I was literally right there. Yeah. Wait a second. It's a blunder. Am I just winning? Wait a second. Just take a deep breath and relax. Bishop f6, queen a3. I mean, I have so many moves here.
But I'm thinking too long, of course, as well. Bishop d4, bishop f4, queen a1. Knight e4, rook f8. I mean. Four, bishop f4, queen a1. Queen g5, bishop e7, bishop e5. 7, bishop e5, seven four, rook e8, knight e4. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm thinking too long here. Gotta just move. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't pull the move. I'll go here. This isn't what I wanted to do, by the way, but and I waste all my time here. Yeah, what am I doing? Come on, come on. No, no, come on. You gotta move. You gotta move. What am I doing? It's ridiculous. I literally burned like a minute there thinking. Like, absolutely the stupidest thing I could have done there. Ridiculous. Now I just threw this game away for no reason. Ridiculous. Like, actually ridiculous. I'm gonna pre-move, so I think it's a safe pre-move. Oh, now I have another mistake. Okay, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I, I mean, it was a dead draw, and I tried to win. I thought I had more time than he did. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So frustrating. So that's that insulate. No, I want to beat this guy. Like, I can't end on a couple of stupid losses like this. Like, this guy's not that good. Take. Like, no nonsense. And I'm just going to blow him away five games and just stop. Now, now I'm actually kind of pissed off. <sighs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I should have I should have made I should have made the draw there. I mean I knew it was a draw and then I didn't make it. Like I, I thought I, I thought I was up on clock when I wasn't. So stupid. Can't believe I did that. This is also why I don't play super this is also why I don't play super long matches either. For this exact reason. Because at some point, like, it comes down to one or two games. If they go your way, you're happy. And if they don't, you're really, really annoyed.
I think I just made another mistake, naturally. Ugh. Let's go here. Yeah, I just made another mistake, obviously. No, the score is horrible. So I'm losing a bunch of points. I think I, if I beat him five in a row, I get to 32, 30. I think I'm just going to play real openings now. Like, no, no, no stupid openings. Like, just real openings. Just blow them away. So stupid. Yeah, and somehow again he finds a magic line. Unbelievable. It's insane. Oh, wait, no, no, no I've got this. I think if he had traded and gone rook D, he was actually fine. Yeah, if he had, if he had played um the other order, he was fine. Okay. Four more to go. Four more. Yeah, I'm gonna move really fast. Four more. Just take. I'm a minute and a half on the clock. I'll just go here. Okay. Okay, three more. No, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play real openings now. No nonsense. No nonsense. No nonsense now. Yeah, no, no nonsense now, Castle. Just trying to remember if this queen e1. I don't. I don't remember exactly how this line normally goes. Okay, this bishop c3. F5 is always a move here too. I think F5 should be okay here. It's a very committal move though. Knight BD2, which I think is wrong. It doesn't look... I thought the knight was always supposed to go to C3 in these lines. And I can play H6. I can also obviously just take. With any takes, I mean, I'm going to go H6 here. Just stop knight G5. Go here. Just swing the rook over. B4, I just take the pawn, of course. But again, I feel like my quality is getting worse, and his quality, it's not like it's getting better, but it's not really deteriorating the same way. Like, because I'm also getting annoyed, so I'm playing worse than usual. Actually, the French is the opening that he doesn't know how to play against, now that I think about it. Of course, this works now, ma magically. <sighs> Yeah, now magically all the tactics work. Unbelievable. Wait a second. I play knight e4, bishop e4, queen f6. I also have rook f7. This is okay. 
As long as I'm not hanging like mate or something. Maybe he's sniping because he played B4 after that. I wouldn't be shocked if he's sniping, but even if he's sniping, I'm actually being pretty careful about what I say at the moment. Like, I'm not actually saying, like, I'm, I'm not saying as much. Because I do think he might be sniping. I don't think he is, but I think there's some chance. Because I do feel like playing a lot of moves that I am mentioning. But, but even if he's sniping, though, it's not cheating, so who cares? And I still should be able to win. He's just an IM. He definitely is? Okay. Got 96 or something. I mean, my instinct is to go into the end game, but can I actually beat him in the end game is the question. I've got three connected. I mean, the tricky end game. Normally, I would never go rook A8. I could I could go C4, C3 and draw easily. But yeah, I mean, maybe he is. I don't know. I don't really care, though. Even if he is, I should be good enough to beat him. Just take... I mean, my king is so close here. I'm gonna go here and check, maybe. There we go. Yeah. Let's play D4. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, this guy's playing super well suddenly. Play Bishop G5 and E3. Or I'm just playing much worse. Which is also, I mean, I am annoyed, so it's possible I am just, like, playing a lot worse. Yeah. He has some confidence? Maybe. I mean, that's kind of a little bit weird, but maybe. Okay, let's play the old, um, I'll go here, rook b1, b4. You think I'm just tired now, so I'm playing much worse? Maybe. It's definitely possible. It's absolutely possible. Okay, let's keep going with our minority report on the queen side. Like, um, I think I'll go here. Yeah, it is. You think I'm playing worse and I'm just missing a lot more? Absolutely possible. Let's go here. Okay, let's think for a second. Think about this. How do I play this? I think I'm going to go here. Um, go here. Messy position. Um, this looks fine, though. It takes with a rook. Okay, now I go knight f3, knight d4. And now I get to play one of my classic sort of like, um, what you call it? One of the iso, iso, iso pawn positions. So I'll go like 
there. And then like knight d4, knight f4. I mean, it's fairly balanced. I'm playing a Kramnik agent. Well, it is it is the random flag, so I might be. Possible. Uh, I mean, I'm happy to play this end game specifically. I mean, there is no flag, so this could be a Russian player. Absolutely. I wouldn't be shocked if it is. Um, I think my style is wrong, though. I'm trying to go for too many end games too early, is what I think. Here. I think that's my mistake, actually. I think I'm trying to go for too many end games. I'm trying to play for too many like slight slight end games, end game edges, which is fine, but con but considering the time situation, it actually isn't fine. I, I think that's my mistake. I'm trying to go over too many end games, and he's actually able to keep the time even. Like in spite of the fact that I am a much better end game player, he's keeping the time is staying even. So if the, if the end game is actually even, it's going to be hard for me to win these end games just in general. So, um. I'll go here and just trade. Again, I don't love this, but yeah. No, I'm losing a lot of points, so my score is not actually very good, objectively. I'm losing a ton of points. I'll go here, try to activate the rook. Knight c4 allows e4 too. But yeah, it's not happy with my play in this 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 match mostly. See, generally I'm pretty unhappy actually wait if I go here wait this seems slightly wrong I wait 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 I've got like h4 maybe h4 h5 wait back or do I just it goes knight c3 I have h5 but I think I go here to check me I mean it's still Probably should have flicked in the check. There's also tricks like knight f3, knight e5 lurking too. Knight c6, knight e5, also a very big threat. <sighs> yeah, somehow he, he is actually like, I, I mean, maybe I am just playing much worse, but his play has suddenly become a lot better. Check. This is not what I want to do. And I've got some tricks like check. Wait, what's that? Yes, this guy is just like playing so much better than me now. It's kind of scary, actually. Like I'm up on clock, but he's playing uh, so much better than me until he blunders immediately. But yeah, no, he, he's. I actually feel like he's outplaying me, so I think I'm just getting tired. Yeah, I mean he's outplaying me on average. I'm just getting tired. Um. Yeah, last two at plus three. I'm not gonna play him at plus two. I'll play two more. Yeah, he's out playing me, and then he blunders in media. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Let's go here, Bishop C5. Let's play the Archangel. Play some other stuff. Um, but, I mean, this guy's very good, because he's showing good theory. Like, in every single game, he's showing legit, like, serious, hardcore theory. Like, this, this is actually a... I don't know who this is, but if he's not, if he's not a GM pretty soon, I'm going to be pretty shocked. Because he's playing very good chess. Um, like he's showing good understanding across the board. Like he's showing good understanding in all these systems. It's not just like one system. Like he's showing good, good prep across the board. Definitely a Russian agent. No, oh, that's possible. I don't know. There's a four logical. I think I can go Bishop D seven here. I think it's still fine. Yeah. D five 97, of course. Um, 
I mean, I have knight a5 somewhere. I also have just queen e7, I guess. Actually, normally the bishop should be on b7, not d7. So, we'll go here. I mean, I think my position's okay. I can always play knight b7. No, I mean, th this is a good player, though. I, I don't know who it is, but he's, he's, he's pretty legit good. I can, I can just tell. Because he should he should not be outplaying me in these games, e even when I'm tired. Because he should be tired too. Um, how how is he earning? What do you mean by earning? I don't know what you mean by earning exactly. Um, let's just go back. Yeah, I don't know what you mean by earning, but um, maybe he's not getting tired. Kids don't get tired. Yeah, <laughs> true. I'm not a kid anymore. Yeah, thank you to Mendiad for gifting a sub. But yeah, I, I'm not playing as well. But he's also, I feel like he's playing better, which is kind of kind of annoying, actually. Um, let's go here to hit the rook. I've got knight c5. Would you consider this a slight overperformance by who? By me or by him or by who? I know what you mean. Finally, I think he made a mistake. Finally. Like, he's been out playing me the last, like, three or four games. I know I've found ways to win, but he's been out playing me. No, I don't think he's fishy. I, I don't think he's fishy. Um, I mean, the only way it's fishy is if it's two different players, but I don't think it's fishy. I mean, there's nothing that makes me think it's fishy because, like, it's ve there are a lot of people who have actually the skill set where they can move very, where they can play like very good chess, be relatively slow. Um, what? Wait, what's this? Okay, so now I'm just up a pawn. There are a lot of people with a skill set where they can be like relatively slow. Um, and then like they're able to uh, let me just go here and play like rook b8 where they can be relatively slow and play really good moves but then the time scrambles they get cracked um like this guy the thing is this guy is like he's he's relatively slow but he also has he has some speed too you're you're out playing when i don't go into end games right away probably true but yeah basically he he also has some speed which is like kind of annoying that's the third component like it's not just end games versus like versus normal positions and good moves but there's also the time stuff which i mean i assume i should just trade i'm up a pawn here like if i can't win this well that's my own fault i mean he's got a weak pawn let's go like here didn't that just hang a pawn oh no that's not go here very nearly just blundered. Wait, but this should not be right. But I bishop b5. And now, I mean, this should be a winning endgame, I think. I'll go here. This should be two, by the way. It's a terrible move by me. There. Okay, wait. But this. Here, knight's five. I mean, I'm way up on clock, so I shouldn't be panicking at all. Like, I'm way up on the clock. So, why is there any reason to panic? There should be zero reason to panic. Finally, he makes a blunder. Although I've blundered this game. I'm going to win on time, I think, but. Here in 84, of course. Yeah, I'm going to win this game for the time situation, but again, I've messed this up. Or am I? Wait. Here. Yeah. Play again. You think it's a Russian player? You think it's Kramnik or something? Nah, it's not Kramnik. But it feels like it's someone who's pretty good, actually. This is someone who should be a GM. No, this is someone who should be a GM, though, for sure. I don't know who this is, but he should be a GM. But he's he's he's, he's legitimately quite good. E even if he's lo even if you look at the score and like, wait, he's losing all these games. He's playing at a very high level. Playing at a very high level. Um. 
Like the moves might, there might be some blunders in here, but it's definitely a, a good player. Someone who, who should be, should be a GM over the board. Yeah. It's a Russian IM. He's on Russian chess site and Facebook group. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, it's a Russian guy. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Exciting. Go here on Bishop F3. Yeah. Kramnik standing behind him. No. That that's a little bit racist, you guys. Uh, a little bit racist. A little bit racist. Yeah. Now, I mean, of course, I can take on B7. I mean, or wait. The heck I, I have to play like King D1 or something uh, my King may be a safe on D1 but I don't like it let me just see what I'm doing here yeah I mean I have H4 I have D3 I kind of like H4 to hit the Bishop here let's see what he does he goes Bishop F6 At some point, I need to play D3, though. I need to activate. Um, let's go D3 here. Knight C2 and B4, I think, was very strong. I'm very lucky he missed it. Let's go Knight D5. Yeah. Actually, I realized I never finished my coffee because I got too, en too engrossed in this match. No, I don't know who he is, but he... he, he wait, what? He's, ah, he's got Knight of Five. He almost got me. I almost just snapped that and lost. Okay, let's go, I guess, Queen F3 to hit the Bishop. He almost got me. I almost snapped it. Almost. <sighs> see what happens. It wasn't my intention to play a 30-game Blitz match. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. This was not my intention at the start of the stream, but... C3 and D4 here. This, this, I'm going to win this game and this is going to be the last one. Okay. So this was not my intention. I was not, I was not intending to, to play 30 games of blitz. This is like something I never do. Oh, uh, I have knight of four. Maybe I've got knight of four, knight D3. Uh, I think I'm going to go knight of four to hit the rook. Maybe knight D3 back. I have rookie one here to hit the knight. Yeah, he finally he makes another blunder. Yeah, no, no, finally he makes a blunder. Please play this guy in bullet. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Yeah, he blundered bigly, bigly. He blundered in a bigly kind of way. So, all right. Take, 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 take. He's beaten Joss from Hans and other players. He's definitely strong. Yeah, he's a good player. I don't know. Who, I don't know who he is. He's a good player. Okay, I'm just gonna manually castle my king. Just here on rookie one. Let's go here. Go here, put the pawn. Go here, hook him with the checkmate. Yeah, he'll resign here. Are somebody about this guy that's interesting to you? Well, is there something interesting? So be it. But there's nothing interesting to me. Checkmate. All right, that's good enough, you guys. That's good enough. <laughs> no, he this guy. This guy, if he's not, he might be a typical Russian IM guy who never plays, and he, he should be GM. He's very good. I mean, even, even if I won the games. It's not even so much the actual end result. It's the quality of the moves. And the moves that he, this guy played at, easy GM. Easy GM strength. Easy 2,500 plus. That's good enough. I mean, I win the match and I lose like a boatload of points. Yeah, no, he's not cheating. What I'm saying is that he's definitely GM strength. Yeah. No, he, he's definitely GM strength. He's not cheating. I'm like, if, he, if he's cheating, he's doing it in a very weird fashion considering the number of games that he lost. Um, 
Uh, so yeah, he's not cheating. But what I would say is that he clearly should be GM level. Absolutely, he should be. He should be. He should be GM. Is he better than Levy? That's a very disrespectful question to this this Russian I am.